Welcome to Legal English in Use and in Use. We continue learning the terms used in the judgments of the European Court on Human Rights, uh, particularly in the part which is called the procedure. At the end of the second episode, you will also learn who can lodge an application with the court and why the applications are usually rejected. Let's get started. Check your pronunciation. Appeal panel. Criminal proceedings. Charge. Aggravated. Fraud. Contrary to. Remainder. Appeal panel, criminal proceedings, charge, aggravated, fraud, contrary to, remainder. Repeat after the teacher. Appeal panel, criminal proceedings, charge. Aggravated, fraud, contrary to, remainder. Appeal panel, criminal proceedings, charge, aggravated, fraud, Contrary to. Repeat and remember the translation. Appeal panel. Апеляційна палата. Criminal proceedings. Кримінальне провадження. Charge. Обвинувачення. Aggravated. При обтяжуючих обставинах. Fraud. Шахрайство. Contrary to. Супереч. Remainder. Інші. Решта. Appeal panel. Апеляційна палата. Criminal proceedings. Кримінальне провадження. Charge. Обвинувачення. Aggravated. При обтяжуючих обставинах. Fraud. Шахрайство. Contrary to. Супереч. Remainder. Інші. Решта. Give you a translation of the words. Appeal panel. Criminal proceedings. Charge. Aggravated. Fraud. Contrary to. Remainder. Appeal panel. Criminal proceedings. Charge. Aggravated. Fraud. Contrary to. Remainder. Give you a translation of the words. Appellatina palata. Criminal provadzenie. Obvinovacenie. Pri obtiażujących obstawach. Шахрайство. Всупереч. Інші решта. Апеляційна палата. Кримінальне провадження. Обвинувачення. 
при обтяжуючих обставинах. Шахрайство. Супереч. Інші решта. You will have 30 seconds to recall and write the list of words you have learned. Appeal panel, criminal proceedings, charge, aggravated, fraud, contrary to, remainder. How many words have you recalled? Define the words and write the definitions in your notebook. Appeal. Panel. Criminal. Proceedings. Charge. Aggravated. Fraud. Remainder. Here is a model for you. Contrary to. In conflict with. Read the case of Arps versus Croatia to give the examples of the words in the sentences. Write the examples in your notebook. Appeal panel. Criminal proceedings. Charge. Aggravated. Fraud. Contrary to. Remainder. Fill in the gaps in the sentences using the words from the list and write the answers in your notebook. Categorize the highlighted words by the parts of speech. Produce as many parts of speech as possible from the given words. Here's a model for you. On May the 26th, 2014, the complaint concerning the applicant's absence from the session of the appeal panel was communicated to the government. The highlighted word is appeal, which is a noun. As a noun, it has some other forms. Appealability, appeal. Adjective, appealable. Verb, appeal. The applicant alleged that she had not had a fair trial in the session of the appeal panel in the criminal proceedings against her on charges of aggravated fraud had been held in her absence contrary to Article 6, Paragraph 1 and 3, C of the Convention. Develop your own sentences with the words from the list and write them in your notebook. Appeal Panel Criminal proceedings, charge, aggravated, fraud, contrary to, remainder. 
the European Court of Human Rights has jurisdiction to decide complaints, applications submitted by individuals and states concerning violations of the European Convention on Human Rights. It cannot take up a case on its own initiative, notably the person, group or non-governmental organization submitting the complaint does not have to be a citizen of a state party. To learn more about the proceedings before the court, watch the following video. Be ready to discuss it. The court receives a huge number of applications every year. However, the vast majority of them are rejected at the admissibility stage because the criteria for applying to the court have not been met. For example, because the applicants have not first raised their case before the national courts. For that reason, the court delivers judgment on the merits in only a small proportion of the cases brought before it. It then rules on whether or not there has been a violation of the Convention and it may award financial compensation. Since it was first set up, the court has completed the examination of hundreds of thousands of cases. This is hardly surprising, given that the number of individuals covered by this system totals around 820 million people. That is, the number of potential applicants living in the countries which have undertaken to comply with the Convention. In reality, however, there are even more potential applicants, non-Europeans, whether they are refugees or other individuals who happen to be within the jurisdiction of a member state, are also protected. For instance, the court found a violation of the Convention by Italy following the forced return of Somalians and Eritreans to Libya, from where they had originally set out by boat for Europe. The court held that they would be at risk of ill-treatment if they were repatriated. In exceptional cases, the scope of the Convention can also extend beyond Europe's borders. The Court found the United Kingdom to be in breach of the Convention following the deaths of civilians in Iraq during security operations carried out by British forces. The Court held that, as an occupying power responsible for maintaining security in the region concerned, the United Kingdom should have conducted an investigation into civilian deaths in which British soldiers were involved. A state can thus be held responsible for events occurring outside its territory. But states can also be held accountable for acts committed within their jurisdiction by another state if they were aware of them. This was the case with the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, which was found to be in breach of the Convention because a person suspected of terrorism was tortured while on that state's territory. The torture had been committed by CIA agents, but in the presence of officials of the state concerned.